that from ABC123, who says, all my hardware supports PAL and NTSC. Which should I use? Uh, and the thing is, a lot of times when people think about PAL and NTSC, they think about the uh, that PAL is used in Europe and NTSC is used in the United States. And if you're old like me and you remember the days when, like, you would get a video game and the video game was an NTSC video game and you couldn't play PAL video games on NTSC TVs and there was this big compatibility issue between PAL and NTSC. It's not an issue anymore, okay? In FPV, all the goggles that we use can receive both PAL and NTSC. And there is no regulation that says that in the United States you have to use NTSC and in Europe you have to use PAL, like there used to be with broadcast television. Okay? That's not the case anymore. Uh, with, FP with FPV, those regulations don't apply. You can transmit whatever you want. So, which do you pick? And the answer is PAL has slightly higher resolution but a lower frame rate. So PAL is like 525 lines of resolution at a 25 FPS frame rate, and NTSC is like 480 lines of resolution at a 30 FPS frame rate. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't always remember the resolution lines exactly right, because there's the actual number of scan lines, and then there's the visible number of lines. I don't always get the number right, but that's the gist of it. And so you decide whether you care more about resolution or whether you care more about frame rate. The difference is really negligible. Well, I, I, I say it's negligible. There are pilots who express an opinion. There are pilots who say, oh no, I always fly NTSC because the 30 frames per second gives me slightly lower latency. And they're not wrong, but I'm also a little like, mm, it does it. The difference is probably not noticeable to most people. You can pick which... Uh, which one you like the best. I, I will say, like, the HD Zero goggles have this glitch. Mine do. I don't know if everyone does. But mine have this glitch where sometimes when you have an analog signal coming in through the module bay, the screen goes white. Literally, the screen goes white, and you just have to power cycle the goggles to, to clear it. Um, you, can, you can drop back out to the menu but the, the analog feed just goes white. And if you set the camera and the goggles to, I think it's NTSC, but I actually have forgotten. Because when it happens, I'm just like, ah, and then I change it from whatever it was to whatever it is. If you set the camera and the goggles to either NTSC or PAL, I don't remember which, it fixes that problem. So there, there are situations where you can get issues. Um, if you have a rapid fire module, when you bring up the menu, the menu is PAL. If you have an NTSC camera, then the goggles, when you bring up the rapid fire menu, the goggles may glitch slightly as they lock on to the, the, the change in signal. So if you're running rapid fire, it may make sense for you to run all your cameras in PAL mode so that when you bring up the menu, there's no shift from NTSC to PAL and the goggles don't have to relock. If you're doing a dual camera setup, like with a front-facing and a downward-facing camera, and you have a camera switcher, you need to have both cameras on the same thing, whether it's NTSC or PAL, so that when you switch, once again, the goggles don't get confused and have to re resync. But as a, for NTSC or PAL, there's a small technical difference in terms of resolution and frame rate. Practically speaking, it, it really doesn't matter for most people.